सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू इच्चेस अकेडमी इन अवर कोर्स रिव्यू सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर्टिफिकेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड सी एफ एस सी दैट इज योर सर्टिफाइड फंक्शनल सेफ्टी एक्सपर्ट ओके सो वीडियो इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव फॉर यू सो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग टू टू दिस चैनल फर्स्ट टाइम काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इट बिकॉज दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज विल बी कमिंग फॉर यू इन द अपकमिंग फ्यूचर ओके फाइन गाइज दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्टिफिकेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड सी एफ एस सी ओके बेसिकली इट इज ऑफर्ड बाई एक्सीडा Exida excellence in developing automation basically previously it was designed by the engineers of TUV Sud as well as the engineers from Exida but now it is being offered by Exida now if you are a functional safety engineer or if you are role involves primary or secondary role involves working in functional safety then it is one of the gold standard certification it means as we know that in the personal safety what is the gold standard certification that is your CSP in the field of fire protection it's cfps likewise in the field of functional safety it it is your cfsc okay so basically guys there are two levels available inside that certification that is your cfsp and cfsc okay but in today's video we are only going to cover cfsc not cfsp next video we will cover cfsp so cfsp means certified functional safety professional cfsc means certified functional safety expert so certified functional safety professional is your basic level and cfsc certified functional safety expert is your higher or advanced level now we will discuss about the eligibility actually what about the eligibility of this particular certification so see guys if you don't have any higher qualification but you are working in functional safety then you need at least 10 years of experience that should be verifiable now if you have any sort of degree uh, masters phd or professional engineering license for practice okay then your eligibility criteria will be totally changed so with regards to that particular criteria i'll put in the last one slide i'll put for you so you can match yourself with regards to that criteria okay because in every degree depends upon your degree it may be technical non technical or engineering degree it will be reduced totally okay now when we come to the basically the exam pattern what they are going to ask and what about the target audience so first of all target audience if you are not related to any house functional safety functional safety means if you haven't heard sis sis and sil then don't go for that certification you will directly fail because functional safety is a totally different field okay they are not going to ask you any sort of pp any sort of safety management system any sort of uh, hierarchy of control it is totally different functional safety is totally different okay but when we talk about the examination pattern so basically examination will be conducted in two main sessions session number 1 and session number 2 so under session number 1 there will be short answer question or you can tell it's a mcq type question okay two hours will be given to you for solving the mcq type questions after that one hour break will be there after that continuous four hour session will be there okay that is for your short type answer question or case study type question okay so these two will be there so mcq you need to obtain around 60% out of your total marks you need to obtain at least 60% to get pass on the other hand when we talk about short type as well as case study type questions you need to obtain at least 70% to get the pass as well as in combining mcq also short type answer also you need to obtain at least 80% in order to pass cfsc examinations okay as well as uh, now you will be thinking about what about that case study so yeah case study as you know that as i told you some experience criteria is there so depend upon your previous experience not the experience of process safety and uh, personal safety want the experience in functional safety okay so based upon your experience based upon your skills that you have implemented your you know, on your previous project you need to demonstrate there in the case study okay as well as exam is also going to be technical apart from the story writing uh, uh, if you want more information with regards to examination pattern as well as some basic previous questions you can visit to exida website now one important thing is there guys with regards to referees if you are applying for that examination you need to show at least four referees what is that four referees you need to show referees in the sense uh, somebody is giving reference no for example if i am applying for any job there there will be some references will be there so like that you need to show the references okay so in case of cfsp certified uh, functional safety professional you need to show at least two referees on the case of cfsc you need to show at least four referees okay as well as out of that four you uh, one referee should need to sign one statement that is your it means uh, whatever the experience you have shown previously he have involved in that particular project so that time only it will be going to be considered for you now after giving your referees it is only applicable on the case of cfsc that is your certified functional safety expert 
when we talk about the CFSP examination, that referee system is not applicable. But yeah, you need to show at least two referees. Okay. After that, also there are some criteria with regards to referees, like they are not intended for you. They are not coming from your side. Like that, some criteria is there, which you can check out on website. Now, what about the preparation? How we can start preparing for CFSP examinations? So basically, as I told you, the certifications nowadays is offered by Axida, which is one of the leading functional safety services providing company in the world. But uh, they are providing one book sa safety book package. Actually, Axida is providing safety book package, which will cost you around thirty nine thousand rupees. What is that? Thirty nine thousand rupees. It will cost you. It will comprises of three main books. Okay. First of all, it will be regarded IEC six one five zero eight introduction will be there. After that, your SIL tar target will be there. After that, SIS design will be there. Safety instrumented systems design. So, if you are able to study these three books, you will easily get pass. But the twist is that this particular examination is open book examination. So, you need to utilize these particular book material during the examinations. As well as there is a recommended material is also there, which is recommended by the basically examination conducting body, which you need to take. For example. Uh, I told you about CFSE examinations. So basically, there are some specific specialization is there. Totally around four to five specialization is there. So depend upon your own interest, depend upon your past experience, you need to choose. But as per my experience, what I have uh, visited in the website that time, I saw that people's most of the people's are choosing for process safety applications. So basically, four to five specializations is there, which comprises of process safety applications, automotive safety applications, machine safety applications. As well as after that, your computer hardware and software applications. Okay, so out of that, you can choose any one of the application, depend upon your own interest as well as previous experience. So it will be better for you. But don't choose on the means. Uh, what you can tell is on the other branches. For example, if I am coming from the process safety sector, process safety functional sector. Okay, and I am choosing directly machinery safety or automotive safety, then it will be tough for me because functional safety is available everywhere and the concepts are continuously changing depend upon the industry. So you need to be very wise while writing that examination while solving these questions. So guys, this is about the full analysis of this topic as well as now when we talk about the recertification points. So as I told you, it's a certification basically. So basically you need to recertify your certification within next three years means after the next three years there will be recertification cycle okay and if you are unable to recertify your particular certification then you need to again give that examination again achieve that particular certification so make sure that uh, within the next three years you will maintain your certification and continuous your professional activities so guys this is the full analysis of this topic if you like this video press the like button as well as subscribe to this channel because these type of videos will be coming to this particular channel in the upcoming future. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Meet you in the next video.